Hey guys, Kenny here. It's with the Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides now playing. I think I'll review the first three. Uh, so I'll start with Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. I th think this has to do with Will Turner having this uh, pre really pretty important little gold uh, coin that he wears around his neck and it's a pretty big one and <clears throat> that has an importance to the black the crew on the black pearl because they have this curse where like they're undead of pirates and they need that coin uh, with his blood I think it is and in order to free them from that curse that's basically what that's the main story but also those pirates uh, t had taken hostage uh, Elizabeth Swan who was <clears throat> going to marry uh, some She was going. She was meant to marry someone else. Uh, she was meant to marry someone in the uh, J, uh, Captain Norrington. That's who. Okay, I remember. Uh, she was meant to marry him, but then Will started really getting to like her. Will Turner was really starting to like Elizabeth Swan, and. The pirates took her hostage, so he has Captain Jack Sparrow help him to <clears throat> try and save Elizabeth from the pirates. That's, I think that's basically what the storyline of The Curse of the Black Pearl is. And this is definitely my favorite out of the three films. The very first three I love this one the most. It's it doesn't have a whole lot more involved with the plot like uh, the other two do, which I think is why they're pretty confusing. At least to me, they were a little confusing. But this one had a straightforward plot, and. It was easy to follow. You didn't have to try and keep up with a bunch of other little subplots going on. They had one storyline and it stuck with that. I loved the action sequences in this, especially the sword fighting. There was some gun f gunfire going on. I, th I think there was also, yeah, there was also some cannon fire. <clears throat> The music was another big highlight of, of this by primarily Hans Zimmer, but it was also Klaus Bedelt, whoever that is, like the co-composer, I guess. So this is my biggest, fa my favorite in the whole series keep looking like I'm skipping in the video but uh, <clears throat> I highly recommend this like you can probably start with this film and then go straight to on Stranger Tides because I I've heard this on Stranger Tides really has no mention of the other previous two Dead Man's Chess and At World's End and <clears throat> I just <clears throat> loved everything about this movie. I can't think of, of anything really bad. Because uh, I thought Orlando Bloom and Keira Knightley gave their best performances, uh, did their best acting in this Pirates of the Caribbean much more than they did in the and 
Dead Later 2. So, this is highly recommended. I loved watching this. I still enjoy watching it over and over to this day. So, I think that's all I have to say on this. So, stay cool and relax to the movies. Bye.